All right, so we'll have another grease pencil lesson here and uh, to uh, create um, simple animated titles, all right, using our built-in modifier. And it's a great feature to actually add some uh, anima easy animation and some kind of, and the noise modifier to kind of add some uh, life to your uh, strokes, okay? So it's not your typical one uh, setup. Uh, it is, but I just simply changed my background to uh, kind of like the blueprint blue. I don't know if this is actually accurate. I have a palette, but I, you know, not important for this one. And I also changed my solid stroke instead of black. I get I get white. Okay, so um, here uh, I'm using the uh, rough pen so that you kind of get a little bit more kind of squiggly on those. All right, you can also use a regular ink pen right here, a little bit more stable. And we can kind of add to it all right so i'm going to be making kind of like the thumbnail for the previous lesson which is the masking all right so what i'll do is go to my layer first and then add another layer here on top this is my rough layer all right so it's going to be called uh, uh, grease pencil masking masking lesson all right so I'll put it right there so i'm gonna just kind of rough in the uh the uh, text right here, right? So I'm gonna go just grease pencil, okay, and then masking lesson, all right? All right, so let's say I do want to center those a little bit. So I'll go to the edit mode right here, and then I'm gonna drag a rectangle right here. Okay, got them all kind of selected. I'm gonna press G to move them. So I'm moving that a little bit here. Okay, and then select the top one right here. Press G to kind of move it, center it a bit, and maybe scale this a little bit. Okay. And all right, so that's kind of like my guide. I'm going to lower the opacity. I'm going to switch it below. So I'm going to select it, click this down arrow right here. All right, so I can kind of do it on top and then I can arrange it. All right, so I want to make it as kind of like as raw as possible, like you actually kind of like the Mythbusters a blueprint when they draw on top. Okay, it's kind of like that technique. All right, so if you get bored with me, uh, just doing this in real time you can again fast forward the lesson all right so here we go i'm using um, um draw mode right here i'm using the uh solid stroke all right i'm just going to kind of create those in in um and kind of make them my text kind of in 3d all right so i'll do this real quick here however you are welcome to uh just kind of skip all this okay if you want to see the uh the final one so I'm using my guide here all right and oops kind of get a unified or at least have a little plan coming in with how I'm gonna position this all right so I'll just go radio silent for a bit until I finish all this again you can fast forward the lesson if it's boring you at this stage okay
All right, so pencil kind of went a little big. So let me go to edit mode, drag that, and then maybe scale that a little bit. Right there is fine. Okay, go back to draw mode and then the masking lesson. All right, here we go. And I'm using a Huion tablet, by the way, uh, to uh, as my uh, pen tablet. All right, so masking is definitely off. Grab that with the edit tool. Let's kind of put it here a bit and then just rotate it a bit. Shrink it also. All right, then I'm gonna go back to draw, lesson. All right, so let me turn off my uh, guide now. Okay, and then let's see, um, edit mode, select the whole thing here, press G to move, just kind of centering it. All right, like so. All right, so let's say that's it. Um, go back to my draw mode right here. All right, and then simple title. All right, so here's the magic right here. First, um, we can add a, um, a noise modifier to it by giving it a noise modifier okay it's a little too much so if I hit play right here remember I do all that in frame one right here you can already kind of do kind of like an animation effect where you're not writing it you just want it kind of looking kind of alive right so position right here is what we need to um, kind of set back first so that it doesn't necessarily do uh, a lot of displacement so now it's just kind of moving but we can tell right here that the uh, it's still kind of connected okay all right so if I stop that and then let's say here on uh, uh, we'll probably leave that as default um, probably noise scale all right zero it's actually fine I guess it's just really the position right there um, all right okay the less of that is and with strength uh, it's not really changing that much so. all right randomize yep okay I think maybe a little bit more on the position Maybe too much. All right. 
Okay, 0.7. All right, so there it is. So it kind of gave it like, it's it's like live font, okay? So now that's noise. Let's add another modifier called build. Okay, build modifier defaults to 100 frames, okay? Let's go back to frame one right here. Then you'll see it here. It, it looks like I drew it for 100 frames. And then if you change your frame length, that just becomes the, uh, the length of how long it took for it to be drawn, okay? The transition also is grow, hence from the beginning. It, it created it like so, okay? And then uh, if you change that, so let's say shrink, you can already tell that it's the opposite. All right. And one more. If we change it to fade. Okay. Check it out. Yeah. So it's like the opposite of shrink. It's just from the top. We don't want any of those. We just want grow right here. And of course, you can have it in sequential. A sequential is one at a time, right? And if you want it to be built, like the whole thing, it's like you blotted it, right? You change that to concurrent, and here's the result. All right, it all depends. It's like it's like you, you're an octopus and you got all the pens and then you're drawing it all at the same time, right? So for our purpose, it's going to be sequential and concurrent. And then uh, there it is. Pretty simple. And you can definitely use this for your 2D animation, very 2D animation look title. Uh, you know, how you make your DN, the DN, uh, you know, in, intro credits and outgoing credits. Um, and just the title, right? And you can add a lot of stuff to this. You know, you can even go in there and add shading to your, um, to your text and whatnot. So it will do it. All right. So I will, uh, I will, uh, end this video and then um, this is the noise and the build modifier and how to make simple titles.